Okay, uh, where was I? Alright, this guy in the screen... That's me. ...is trying to take back the gold. Today's Spelling Bee is brought to you today by the Don't Fail Me Foundation and the I Would Like an A Company. Alright, all Louis has to do now is spell this one word correctly and he takes home the gold. Alright, your word is Nidarian. Nidarian. Can I have the phyla? The phyla is Nidaria. Can I have the types of organisms? Types of organisms include jellyfish, sea anemones, corals, and hydras. Hey man, are you selling? Who wants to know? I need a list of distinguishing characteristics and adaptations for Nidarians. Oh, psh. Alright, that's easy. Alright, number one. They're radially symmetrical, which means that if you divide them on any plane, then uh, you'll have roughly equal parts. Alright, number two. Their body is multicellular, which means they have more than one cell. Number three. Their body contains an internal cavity and a mouth. Number four. Two different forms exist, the medusa and polyp. The medusa is the free-floating form of a cnidarian. The polyp is the seesaw form and doesn't move. Number five. Reproduction is either asexual or sexual, which means that you either don't have a partner or you do have a partner. They have a simple net-like nervous system. By a net-like nervous system, you can imagine the whole cnidarian body as being one big net. And uh, when that net comes in contact with something, the muscles in that part will contract. And that's how uh, cnidarians also get their food. They have a distinct larval stage, which is planktonic. They're mostly carnivorous, otherwise they're filter feeders. How much do I owe you? That'll be five grand. What? Uh, can I have the habitat? To answer your question, we have a special guest. What? Huh? Really? Really? Who? Coach Good Looking! Who? Alright. Sea anemone, I need you to kick it down to the corals in every aquatic environment at all depths. Also watch number 20. That Great Barrier Reef is a handful. Okay, Team Nidarian on three. One, two. If you didn't understand what Coach Goodlooking was saying, he said that Nidarians live in all aquatic environments and inhabit all depths. They can be found from the Great Barrier Reef to the Arctic Oceans. And in just about every saltwater habitat in between. Some jellyfish even live in fresh water, but not many. Can I have uh, the modes of feeding and digestion? DiGiorno, mamma mia, parmesan Alfredo. He says that the Nidarians use tentacles to capture the prey, usually with nematosis. Fettuccine pizza, olive garden pepperoni. He says that in the gastrovascular cavity, there are enzymes that help digest the food. Leaning Tower of Pizza, Mozzarella, Mario, and Luigi. He says that undigested food is expelled through the mouth. In the case of coral, they use a plankton called zooxanthellae to get their nutrients. Okay, all I need left, I think, is uh, the level of organization. The Nidarian body is basically a U shape. The top of the U creates the mouth. In sea anemones, the mouth faces up. In jellyfish, it faces down. There are two cell layers, an outer ectoderm and an inner endoderm. These two layers are separated by the mesogly, a non-cellular fibrous jelly-like material. The ectodermis consists of five basic cell types. The epithelial muscular cells, which supply some of the muscular capabilities of the animal, interstitial cells, which are basic cells that give rise to the other cell types, nanocysts, and mucous glands, sensory cells, and nerve cells. The endoderm consists of three or four basic cell types. Gastromuscular cells, which help digest food and provide some muscle power, gland cells that secrete enzymes for digestion, and mucus cells.
Alright, I think I can spell it now. Nidarian. N. Wrong. 